This is the JP News, now in HD. Tonight's features, a drive through Hamilton Hill, ribbon cutting ceremony at 843 Emmett Street, and Vail Park. Old Ford Falcon, or Gobine. Wow, that's incredible. Cars that shifts on the column, but it's got a clutch. News. We are heading up Albany Street in Hamilton Hill. Uh, we want to go over to the Hewlett Street Bridge and take a um, and take a, some pictures of from the bridge, if we possibly can. So here we go. It's early in the morning. It's only quarter after seven. Um, you know, except for kids that go to school. Uh, not too many people wake up very early uh, around the city of Schenectady. Oh, there is a crossing guard. That is a nice sight to see. A sight of security. A sight of something where you know um, somebody at least might not get less likely to get mugged. There's somebody wrapped up in a, uh, a mummy, a mummy, mummy costume. Maybe they call it something else, so I better shut up. Street. Now we're going to find the other overpass. we got to stop for the school bus. Oh, he's going. He went. You went. You passed me. I didn't pass you. You passed me. I did not pass you. Look at the garbage up here on Strong Street. Holy Toledo. I am walking down Strong Street now, heading to the overpass. Boy, it smells over here. Like garbage. It is just kind of a smelly part of the city here. But at least people have a roof over their head and meals to eat. Hello, sir. I see that it looks like a fairly good day today, although I do have forecasted some rain. It's garbage. Hey, that looks like the kind of hair I want to have for my movie. Wow. Here's another crossing guard so that these precious kitties can get across the street. Hey, how's things on the porch today? Hello, Isman. Um, oh boy, wonder how many bodies they'll find in the garbage today. Here, all, all the watchdogs are out. All the watchdogs are out. Now we're making a slow stroll down Emmett Street and um, uh, this is the street where my first girlfriend lived. My first girlfriend ever. My first girlfriend that that actually treated me like like the man I am. So anyway, <clears throat> um, as we go through here, I, I don't hear much about this street on the news, but it's not exactly Disney World. Oh, and there's the Easy Method Driving School. That is a very good school. Oh. I went to that driving school and they were a okay. <laughs> they were a okay. <laughs> uh, 
I remember the guy that owns. He's got to be long gone by now. Okay. Here is more garbage men, and you know what? I have respect for them because I think they have a very hard and dirty job. I just got nothing but great things to say about everybody this morning. Oh, is he backing up? Oh, he's backing up. And the grass clippings are being banged. Let's see. Can I go by here? Okay, yeah. I go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. is a portion of the Vale Cemetery. So beautiful. I like this water. Yeah. Shopping cart in the lake here at Steinmetz. I mean, Vale, Vale Park. Then the Jet Petroquin camcorder news, and we are now leaving the Vale Park. We had a wonderful time here. I took Tara here to show her the park. She just still does not want to be filmed. So now we drive out of here. And we are exiting the Vale Park. See, now that's a playground for all the little kitties. Yeah. A four-wheeler. The dog is up on the roof. The dog is up on the roof. Well, he was stopped for a school bus. I don't, I don't know. So the one that hit the, the rear is, is at fault. It's always at fault. Yeah, right. Always. You always yeah. max up in the back and you always at fault. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if. Yep. You know what? Even if they have to hit something in front of them and come to a dead, dead shit stop. I'm going out to breakfast. Have a good morning. Yeah.
Yeah, have a great day. JP News, it's called. It's JP who? News. JP News. I run it on Open Stage Media, Schenectady's public access channel. Okay. <laughs> Can we get a picture? Awesome, awesome, awesome. One more for good measures. This house for people who were here for the groundbreaking, remember that it was run down, distressed, and it just signified all those things that are wrong with neighborhood blight. And with a combined effort, a number of partners, Youth Build Schenectady has transformed this eyesore, this negative uh, piece of property in the community to an asset. It is now a home. It makes a difference not only in a family, but in the whole neighborhood. And so I'm so proud to be here. I want to thank everyone who's joining us today. And it is a transformational project. And we have uh, Senator Gillibrand will be here shortly. And just want everyone to uh, enjoy it, look at it. And this becomes a model for future things that we hope that we can do across this community and really use it as an example for things that should happen across the state. Thank you. And they said we would fix those abandoned buildings. We would create housing for the homeless. We would make a whole different world. And they said a lot of other things too. They said they'd eliminate crime, they'd create leadership schools, they'd create homes away from home for young mothers with children who didn't have the fathers of the children with them. And we did all of those things in East Harlem. The young people had the vision. And young people need to be asked throughout our nation. Thank you, Congressman. 
We adults control the power and the resources, and we have the confidence, some of us, to think we can put it all together. Senator Gillibrand will be here in a few moments. Uh, I'd ask everyone, and we're going to start up the music again, I'd ask you to keep the spirit of the festivity. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, as the saying goes. Um, a beautiful thing, a, a car coming down saying, watch children, so let's do that. <laughs> if you want to take a quick look around the House, uh, we, we have about a minute left, but as soon as the Senator gets here, we're going to take the Senator and the Congressman Taco through the House. So let's turn on the music. Senator. Hi, Mayor. How are you? Good, good, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you, Marva. Isaac. Hi. How are you? I'm Senator Joseph Morris. Nice to see you. How are you? Well, Senator. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good afternoon. This is a thrilling day. We brought everybody together. And since I spoke to you before, I'm going straight to the core thing. I'm going to introduce Senator Kristen Gillibrand, your senator from New York. Your senator who has shown herself to be a fighter for other people who need the assistance of our leadership, of our governors. She's, fight she's fighting for youth build. She's the primary champion in the Senate. She's organized her colleagues. She's communicating with the administration, with the appropriations, and I'll let her speak about it. But we are lucky to have Senator Gillibrand embracing Youth Build and all that it stands for because she cares about people, she cares about young people, she cares about opportunity and justice, and she is here to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here to see all of you. This amazing renovation, uh, it's, it's unbelievably inspiring. I was really impressed to get to meet all these students, uh, aspiring workers who will be able to do these jobs on their own. They've fully renovated an energy efficient, affordable home. It's LEEDS, gold certified. I'm just taking this out. Here we go. Uh, LEED Gold Certification Home is now a model of how energy efficient and sustainable homes can be built affordably right here in the Hamilton Hill neighborhood of Schenectady. And through the program, students learned green job skills and worked closely with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Options and Green Program to learn many of the best practices in constructing a LEED home. You can see it in our students here today. Youth Build Works. 92% of students receiving their high school diploma or equivalent and 72% of students gaining employment or enrolling in college. Today, I met Jacinda McGee, a Youth Build student. Jacinda explained how this program taught her a trade and gave her direction. As a member of the Youth Build's Connectedy team, Jacinda plans to attend college and continue on to a four-year degree. Youth Build helped her unlock her potential and lay the groundwork for her future. Later, you'll also hear from Emmanuel McCall. Emmanuel is a Youth Builds Connectedy graduate. Emmanuel struggled for years to find his own path and at 22 found Youth Build. Since graduating three years ago with his GED, Emmanuel has held three different leadership positions with Youth Build USA and serves as a member of the Youth Leaders Council. He currently works for Schenectady Community College at the Liberty Partnership, which works to raise high school graduation rates as an active member of the community. Now, as many of you know, Youth Build gives thousands of teens and young adults like Jacinda and Emmanuel across New York and the country the resources and the tools and the life experience that they actually need to succeed. Nationwide, Youth Build has served more than 130,000 students in 46 states. Now I'd like to introduce Congressman Tonko, who is an amazing ally and advocate in the House. Thank you, Senator. Let's hear from Senator Gillibrand. Thank you for your outstanding leadership in Washington and representing us so well in the U.S. Senate. It's great to have you in the 20th Congressional District. Familiar turf. I know. We love it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You know, I was thinking as we're um, standing here together, mixing this morning, that yesterday it was a day-long ride with the, uh, the bus. That was a uh, statement of when women succeed, America succeeds. It's about empowering women. 
And now today, the very first stop on a Monday morning is that about empowering young people. Aren't we at our best when we empower the people of our communities to do their very best, to utilize their skills and, and promote the connection we can all enjoy? For those of you who may not know us, and, and actually this is my, I think this is my third time at a Youth Build event, and I have to tell you, it does not get old coming to these events because all you have to do is take a look behind me, take a look at the faces and the pride and, and the students that helped do this renovation. It's absolutely outstanding and it never gets old for me. Uh, for those of you, we applaud your resilience and your commitment towards building a new life. And as a result of your hard work and dedication, one family now calls this building home and a host of our employees now call you friends. And I want to thank you for that. And now, the next speaker really doesn't, I don't think uh, he needs any introduction because the senator did, did a fantastic job talking about Emmanuel, Emmanuel McCall. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Cool. I don't really talk on the microphone, so I'll use it a little bit. <laughs> I'm here today to talk a little bit about Youth Bill and how Youth Bill grows roses out of the concrete. How Youth Build teaches you perseverance. How Youth Build teaches you how to seize the moment and grab opportunity. How, as Senator um, Gillibrand stated, Youth Build works. That's it. And if I use myself as an example, how I'm a graduate of Youth Build, how I went on to be the first person in my family to, to attend a college how I went on to work at the college, coordinating a dropout prevention program, being a governor um, appointee for the, to be on New York State's Juvenile Justice Advisory Group. But the most important thing was that Youth Bill didn't give up on me. Youth Bill didn't care that I was on Capitals Regis Most Wanted in 2008. Youth Bill didn't care that I was a two-time felon. You feel they didn't care that I was a former gang leader and inactive drug, drug dealer. You feel they didn't care about my background. You felt looked at me and said, this guy has potential. That's it. We believe in him, we love him. Let's show him how to do right. this. That's it. Since graduating, you feel I've become a change agent. And what I mean by that is, I've went back into my community and reached out and grabbed younger people, my, my little homies. All right. Hey, my little homies. <laughs> and right. brought them with me and showed them youth bill. All right. We are doing a wonderful job of balancing on this podium, which is a metaphor for balancing on a very strong but narrow foundation. So if we get future funding, this podium will grow and sell with the program. <laughs> How's that? The senator has to can't leave yet because we're going to cut a ribbon, right? The senator is a ribbon cutter. So please join us. Senator Gillibrand's coming up here. Get up there, Emmanuel. Anyway. No, are they going to go from the other side? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Scissors are gone. I thought they were going to go from the other side. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> 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 so do you want to put one of the Senator, thank you very much. Oh, my privilege. You build these Harlem. Oh, you thank you so this? much for coming yeah. out. Let's go Where into the shade. Let's go into the shade. That's a good It is just, just when you think it's about to ease up, it starts craning even harder again. And these kids are uh, wading right through the water. This is the Jess Petchwin camcorder news, and there seems to be a telephone pole that has fallen down here 
on the corner of uh, Rosa Road and Gerling Street. It is located near this pizza shop. And uh, I don't know what happened. And I've just got word from this man directing traffic that a tractor trailer hit this telephone pole and I'm presuming took off. There's live wires all over the place. They are, they are, they are directing people through this little parking lot and uh, that's the way that goes. You gotta go around, you have to go back and around. I got aliens living in my basement and every day I'm thinking about coast to coast. I got children. I didn't know they were hybrids. <laughs> aliens came and that's the way it is. Every night I'm coast to coast. <laughs>